I just got a good question. Uh, ask some... I was just asked recently, what is the... <laughs> Fuck off. I... <laughs> I recently received a great question. Someone asked me, Lucas, when do I know when I'm really making it as a presenter? Now, this is a great question because there's no real answer to this. There's so many different ways for you to really identify, you know, where do I make it? What's, what's the signal that I've, I've made it, quote unquote, made it as a speaker? And for me, there's a number of different metrics. I mean, one is, first and foremost, people are actually listening to you, okay? So when you have an audience, that's the first step because that actually means people are paying attention and that's demonstrating that you're giving good value. Uh, two would be that you're getting paid. I mean, when you're getting paid, that's validation that what you're saying is not only people are gonna listen to it, but they're willing to give you money for it. So it's extremely flattering. But there's a third one that I personally like, and you know, I'm, I'm not perhaps in line with you on this one, but I think because you're watching these videos, we got a bit of a connection, so you might agree. And that is that when you start getting haters and hecklers, you know, that is really the sign for me that I'm making it. And it's, it's funny because a lot of people, you know, they come to me, my clients are like, oh my God, Lucas, they, you know, I was, did this presentation, this person said this about me, I can't believe it. And like, yeah, that's great. I mean, that is absolutely phenomenal. Because when people start talking bad about you, if it's a few people and it's just really like catty, hater comments, that just means that you're reaching an audience, that you're reaching people. Because yes, you're getting your core fans and you're getting the people who are sitting at home and they're bored and they just wanna chime in to try to get a rise out of you or they're jealous. And a situation that came up recently for me was, this was, this was hilarious. I was at a business networking event. I got brought in to speak and they brought me in, but they didn't say what I did. And so I walked in and one of my main competitors here in Vancouver was, was at the table there. She was in this group. And so I'm going through my thing. I'm, you know, I'm lighting it up. I'm having that rapport. We're having fun. We're, you know, giving high fives, big energy. And I show a, a picture up there and I'm asking for their, their opinion on what does this picture mean to you when you see this? And I'm going around, I'm getting good answers from everywhere. And it gets to her and she says, oh, that looks like a stock photo. I mean, come on, are you for real? A stock photo? How catty are you that you're picking up my photos and you're missing the content? And you know, the situation came by later and again, she's like, oh, that image looks this and that. You know what, I just completely ignored it. Because this is why you know you make it. When you can make someone who's been in the industry for a decade get so jealous, get so self-conscious and so intimidated that they're gonna resort to making catty, snide remarks during your presentation to try to throw you off, well that, my friends, is when you know that you're having a major impact because you are scaring the shit out of them. And that's something that I want you to focus on. When people are saying scary, you know, they're saying bad things about you, take it as feedback if there's positive parts to it. But if it's just people talking stuff and just, you know, kind of throw you off, let it go and focus on the people that are making that connection with you, that they're engaged, that they're liking and they're, they're digging what you're saying. When you make that connection, when you focus on them and you let the riffraff, the people that are scared, that are jealous, you leave them aside, don't give them the energy and you focus on your message, that is what sets you apart because you can take that to the bank that you are making a big shift in your life and you're on the next level right now because you are intimidating your competition and that my friends is when you know that you're truly making it.